Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Schlocky Horror Picture Show. I'm your host, Nigel Honeybone. The carrion of the Creative Commons that I've selected to submit for your judgment tonight is Egar. No, that's not an opinion. That really is the name of tonight's movie. Not a title likely to bring in large audiences, but maybe it wasn't thought out that carefully. Perhaps, just as he was about to start dictating his script, the writer sneezed, the typist mistook it for the film's name, and the error wasn't noticed until after the opening credit sequence was finished, and they didn't have enough money to redo it. It can't be because they thought it was a good idea, surely. As I mentioned, I'm submitting Egar for your judgement, but I already suspect you'll return a verdict of guilty and demand the cat of nine tails for all. The severity of this crime against humanity is not diminished by the presence of indulgent parent syndrome. Egar stars Arch Hall Jr. and was directed by Arch Hall Sr. under a non de blame. When he created this vehicle for the talents of his son, he overlooked one vital piece of information. Arch Hall Jr. had no talents whatsoever. Nor did Arch Sr. learn from this film because he kept trying to foist Arch Jr. onto an unwilling world. Still, far better directors than Arch Hall Sr. have made the same blunder. Yes, Francis Ford Coppola, I'm looking at you. Two flawless films, then you cast Sophia in Godfather Part 3. Didn't anybody mention this was a bad idea? Or is it part of your plan to ruin all your films, like with the director's cut of Apocalypse Now and One from the Heart? You had final cut on the first release and you got it right, you twit. I've digressed slightly, and I'd better calm down, or they might put in a bleep. Let's start watching Egar, even though it's not likely to be a soothing experience. 